A runner accelerates uniformly, as they always do, right? <laughs> From 1.3 meters per second to 4.7 meters. So I think this is our initial velocity. This is our final velocity. This is our acceleration. What was our displacement? So x equals is what we want to find, right? So x, v, i, v, f, a, and t. So let's just fill in what we know. So this is 1.3 is our initial velocity, right? So 1.3 meters per second. 4.7 is our final. Uh, let's see, this must be our acceleration. Because it's in meters per second. It also says acceleration. These are, these are good clues, right? And then we want to find x. And, and I'm going to use some strong language here. Okay, so just brace yourself. We don't give a hoot about the time. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Okay, so Let's use the formula that has no time, right? So Vf squared, uh, so 4.7 squared equals Vi, which is 1.3 squared, plus 2 times 5.2 times, and then x is what we're solving for, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 1.3 squared from both sides, right? And when I do that, this whole term goes away, right? So I'm going to go 4.7 squared minus 1.3 squared. And this comes out even to 20.4. And 1.3 squared minus 1.3 squared, that just goes away, right? And then we, so 20.4 equals 2 times 5.2 times x. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 2 and 5.2, right? Okay, I'm dividing here, right? When I do that, this goes away and I'll get x. So 20 divided by this, divided by that. So 20 divided by 2, divided by 5.2 is 1.96. 1.96 meters. All right. 